There is only one of you, only one of me There's a million of those who won't let us be But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby, I got you, 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 you I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeson from Beauty and the Beeson's and I upload every single Sunday and Wednesday. Today is episode one of our spring cleaning series and we are really jumping right in to my Monica's closet. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. But basically, I am starting my spring cleaning series with the two spots that I've been avoiding the absolute most. I have two other spots that I've been avoiding, so stay tuned for that. One of them is like the spot where we store everything in the basement, and then another spot is a storage closet in my room where I put like stuff for the kids and just like different holiday or seasonal items. But right now, this is our craft slash game closet, and it just needed so much love. It needed decluttering and a lot of organization. My number one goal when doing a project like this is not the aesthetic. Yes, of course I want it to look beautiful, but it's more about the functionality of it. And I can tell you since we've had this nice and organized, the kids have gone in and grabbed like one game or one toy or one thing of blocks at a time, sat down at the table and played with them. And that's exactly what I wanted. They've also been playing in the playroom more since it's all been organized as well. So I'm so happy with how they both came out. So step one is we just need to take everything out of this craft closet. Once everything is out, we are going to throw away any trash or broken things or things that just don't belong anymore. We're going to throw them out and then we're going to sort like with like and go from there, see how we can organize the things that we have. Before I get started with any type of organizing, I always get a trash bag for garbage and then either a box or another trash bag for donations. And it's just helpful to have them right there. If something is taking you too long to think about, you really gotta reevaluate and make a quick decision if you wanna keep it, donate it, or toss it. The things that I threw away were things that were just broken and didn't really make sense, things that could not be donated. Luckily, I didn't have to buy a ton because I already had stuff to organize. I did change some of my organizational systems, but I have these little bags that are great. I will have everything linked down below, but they're just great to organize puzzles and games. I did go ahead and get some bigger size bags that I'm absolutely loving for our bigger board games and blocks and things like that, which you'll see in a little bit here. Another little tip is downsize where you can. Like we have so many little Play-Doh toys. Some of them are broken. Some of them never get played with. So instead of just keeping a bunch of extra stuff around, I am donating the things that we don't use. So like I mentioned, I don't like to store games in their original boxes if I can help it, just because they're bulky. It's better to have things in uniform sizes so that they fit better into your closet. Okay. 
Another little tip that I have is keep a pen and notebook close by so you can write things that you're wanting to purchase. Like I know we needed more markers. Our Candyland was ripped in half and that's one of Carter's favorite games to play. So I did go ahead and order a new one. But here is the closet. Now we're just going ahead and giving it a good deep cleaning before we organize this. Guys, just to be 100% honest here, this took me three days, like full entire days with very small breaks. So although this video is under 40 minutes, just know it's all very time consuming and editing is a beautiful thing. And I hope that it really motivates you, but I just want you to remember that it does take time. If you wanna pick one thing to do per day, I definitely suggest doing that or just a couple of things to do per day. On the first day you saw how my kitchen was like an explosion of toys and games and crafts. Well, Everly was coming home soon so I had to go ahead and take all that stuff and throw it into my office because I couldn't have her getting into everything. So then my office was just full of it and I didn't get to fix it until that evening. So it's just think about how long it takes and give yourself some grace. to tell the truth no one else can see you like i do all you ever do is say now that that's all cleaned out i'm moving into the playroom the reason is is because i'm hustling before my kids get home and have a say or get into everything in the middle of me doing it so that is another tip. I know that not everybody has the luxury of their kids going to school or like having, you know, any time outside of the house. But if there's a time in your day that your kids are not home or napping, that's the time to do this or when they're sleeping because it just takes triple the amount of time if they're in there with you doing it. I've learned that the hard way. Um, so I am, again, I have my bag of garbage. I have my bag of donate and I'm just sorting things, putting like with like. Um, the food there's so much of like the little play food but they do actually play with it but any part that's like missing another piece I'm getting rid of anything that the dogs have chewed up any trash anything like that I'm also going to be rearranging where that food is and putting it closer to our little grocery store that I just pulled out of here I do have hopes and dreams of giving it a little makeover Everly loves playing with it and my sister got it for the boys for Christmas before I was even pregnant with Ella. So we've had it forever. It's one of those sentimental things to me. And I wanna just give it like a little paint makeover. I'm debating just leaving the wood, the wood color, and then painting all the green parts black. Cause it will just kind of like match the playroom and it'll just be a fun little project and make the kids feel like they got a brand new toy when really it's just a little makeover. There's also two completely broken shelves on it that I ripped off. So I would like to figure out something to go on the bottom there as well. I am really holding on to these playroom years because Carter barely ever plays in the playroom um, and he is eight. He's more of an outside soccer type kid. He also loves games on his iPad, of course, and any type of like, I guess, video game in general. We don't have like a video gaming system yet. He really wants a PS5, but we have, he has the Switch. Um, so I did buy like this magnetic tic-tac-toe that goes on the wall because I wanted to entice him to you know come in here a little bit more because he does love just simple tic-tac-toe we always play together so that was a great addition and a great amazon find which we'll see here in a little bit um, you also see that our stuffed animals are on fleek so i bought a larger 
stuffed animal zoo it's called that it's from Amazon as well and it's so much better plus it gives us more floor space so I like that it just like goes on the wall and holds a bunch of stuffed animals I did donate a bunch of stuffed animals but there are some sentimental ones that we of course had to keep Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us And we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Oh, I wanna be with you Oh, I wanna be with you Let me be the someone Who can hold your hand So I basically just sorted things out and now it's time to clean, like just wipe everything down. There's some dust and like just random like broken pieces of toy in here. So I'm wiping everything down before I go ahead and organize it and put things back. I'm also just like organizing and hanging back up their dress up clothes and all of that. Moving on to this area, this is where I'm going to be putting the stuffed animal thing, but I also bought a new like cubby system for this corner of the room because we just needed it and I thought it would just make things a lot more organized looking and give us a place to put everything. So I got this from Target along with these new black bins. And now it's time to just straighten things up and rearrange a couple of things. I'm putting this clock over by the books and it's actually perfect because right below it, it reads once upon a time. So, you know, there's books and there's a clock, time, you get it? Um, so it's just like a happy coincidence. And here it is, this is what I'm talking about. And then we're going to hang up the little stuffed animal zoo in that corner.
This was absolutely perfect and there's still space for more stuffed animals. If you are a family friend or a family member watching this, please don't buy us any more stuffed animals. We love you so much, but no, stuff, no stuffed animals and no slime currently. Thank you. <laughs> I'm also really loving these cubbies and the little bins that go in there. They only had five available, but it's perfect because it leaves the center open for just other things that don't necessarily fit into a basket. But while we're rearranging some of this stuff, I just wanted to go ahead and talk about my newsletter that goes out every Sunday. I usually include free printables and things like that. I have some printable spring cleaning um, documents on there that I've had on there for years now but you can find it right under printables um, also I wanted to talk about my video schedule I'm so excited because I'm filming a new morning routine this week if you have anything that you want me to talk about more in depth or things that you want to see in the morning routine definitely let me know um, so it is much later in the evening now Everly is asleep and I'm getting to organizing the rest of the games and the blocks and these are the new containers that I got and I really love them. So back to the newsletter, all you have to do is go to tiffanybeeston.com, scroll to the bottom and there's a spot to input your email. Everything on there is free, you don't have to worry about paying for printables or anything like that. What was your favorite game growing up? Mine was definitely Pretty Pretty Princess. I love Twister, Operation was another one, and Trouble, those are probably my top favorite games. Oh, and I loved Guess Who and Break the Ice. So I got the kids Guess Who and I couldn't believe what junk it was. It was literally the thinnest pieces of paper and like the flimsiest pieces of plastic. Like if you touch it, it breaks. So. That was really sad. I need to find like an old guess who on eBay or something because I couldn't believe how cheapy everything was made. These bins were absolutely perfect. The clear ones are from Amazon and like the, I mean, they're kind of clear, cloudy looking ones up top, I don't know what to call them, are from Target. And this works out perfectly because I can fit my little bags into there instead of just having, you know, the bags all over the shelves and trying to label each individual bag. This saved me time and space by putting the bags in like this and then I'm gonna go ahead and label the containers. I thought Everly was asleep by this point, but she wasn't. I'm telling you, organizing this and the player felt like a time warp because it was done over three days and I really like remember what was even going on in life. You know exactly what I'm talking about when you get so deep into a cleaning and decluttering project, especially because like, I had to edit and do all that stuff too. Um, but anyway, it's 100% worth it and it's something that you only should have to do once. This is my third time doing it, but I think we finally have like a system in place that will really work. Of course, with any type of space in your home, you're gonna have to do resets and there's times when you're busy and you're gonna throw something in there. So resets are great. Um, I would love to say do it monthly, but it just, I know it wouldn't work for my family. Um, but you know, just do resets when you can or when you think about it or when you have the time to do it or it just feels like it's getting out of control. So finally, we are just putting everything back. Um, Carter's showing me like funny videos right now, so my expressions are all over the place, but um, this was Friday evening.
Next, I am just freshening up our markers here. I did go ahead and order a new pack. I did get a pack from Target, but Carter wanted to bring it to school. So of course I let him bring it to school if he needed it and ordered a new pack of markers. The reason that we go through markers like crazy is because some people don't like to put the caps back on and they find them all dried out. So um, I go ahead and buy more because of course I want my kids to be coloring and doing crafts, anything to keep them off of screens, honestly. So I've also had these for a while from Target and I have the kinetic sand in the basement now so it doesn't ever sit on here so I just went ahead and took off the old letters. Finally, just organizing these a bit more and then I know that the following day I'm going to make labels because I was definitely way too exhausted to do it on this same day. So day two, I am putting up that tic-tac-toe that I talked about. It has three M strips on the bottom, which is perfect because it's very easy to put up. And then just there's like little X's and O's that have magnets on them. So if you have like really little ones that are still putting things in their mouth, it would probably scare me to have this unless you put it up higher because, you know, magnets are like terrible if your kids swallow them. It's awful. Um, so Chris is just patching this up a bit, but... Yeah, I just had to say that it's the NICU nurse in me. However, Everly does not put things in her mouth like that, and I don't think she'd be able to get them off, but I just felt like I had to say that. But now we are cricketing our labels. Um, I didn't make a list the night before. The next day I went through and just made a list on my phone super quickly in my notes app and then just copied and pasted it into the Cricut app. Don't let this time lapse fool you. This took hours to make these and go ahead and weed all of it. It's very, very tedious. I always start feeling so antsy when I have to sit here for so long and do this. It's just like one of those things. But again, it's something that you shouldn't have to do a bunch of times, right? It should only be a one and done type thing. Maybe add one or two here and there. Like I forgot to make a label for Candyland. So I'll be making another label today as well. He would tell me we have time, time to laugh and time to heal. My favorite song is on repeat Drinking wine until the dawn Knowing soon we'll be back home
The actual white portion of this is from years ago at Target. They do have tags like this at Dollar Tree, but they're paper in the middle. Um, so I'll try to see if they still have them at Target and I'll link it. But now we're finally just labeling things. This part can also be very tedious as well. Um, you just have to, you know, be patient, which a lot of times I'm not. Cause I always feel like this as a mother. I always feel like I'm in a rush when it's something not pertaining to my kids. So this. Obviously it's like good for them because they can go in here and like find things easily and play. But you know what I mean? It's not like I'm outside playing with them. So I'm rushing to get back to just being mom because I always feel guilty when I'm doing other stuff. I'm not saying that's the right way to feel. I'm just saying that's always how I feel. Like I always just feel so rushed inside when I'm doing any type of thing that's not like playing with them. These labels that I'm working on now are actually going to be hanging off of the game bag. So I'm going ahead and laminating them. I'm telling you, this is one of my best mom purchases ever was my printer and my laminator between like school and just like little learning things and crafts that they may need. And even for me with my list, I like to laminate them and then use permanent marker or dry eraser on them instead of continuously having to print more and more lists. Um, but anyway. I'm just tying these on to the bags with some ribbon that I already had. And I went ahead and put all the labels on these baskets and it was so blurry so I had to just delete that part out. But here is how they look all labeled and then I had to show you my cutie Evie. Cause it's just so true like I remember feeling this way with my mom too when I was little like if she would organize my toys and stuff it felt like I had like new toys to play with things that I had forgotten about because they were just in piles of junk you know but anyway back to labeling some more stuff I actually did this on day three this morning St. Patrick's Day Sunday when you're watching this but like I said it's just very tedious and you wouldn't even know how much work it is in this uh, short video but that's why I keep telling you guys to give yourself time because I don't want you to be disappointed in yourself or feel like you didn't get enough done it is just time consuming no matter which way you put it so now I'm just doing an overview of everything in the daylight so you can see what I've done with everything I need to magic erase that marker on there I just didn't get time to but here's how everything came out. I did leave a space open on the other little cart for just as miscellaneous because Lord knows like what new game or craft we'll get. So there's an option and space for that. I also love, I don't know what happened to the footage of it, but that little um, chest on the bottom there is perfect for keeping the bags of blocks and stuff. I will show you that in a second, but I don't know what happened to the footage of actually putting it out. Um, but it was very easy and it works perfectly for the size storage bags. Um, again, you'll see in just a moment here. For those of you thinking, wow, that is a lot of stuff. It is, but I also remember I have four kids and my oldest is eight, so we've been getting stuff for a while now and I only kept the stuff that we still play with. But when you have four kids, there's things and different ages that one may like and the other may not like. So. Uh, that is why we have all types of stuff and again like I said if we're not on screens I'm happy so I love having just you know actual items for them to play with or things to color who here had Furbies growing up and here's that tic-tac-toe which we've already played so much and really enjoy and Ella put her baby to sleep like this I thought it was so adorable <laughs>
So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and head over to tiffanybeeston.com and sign up for my newsletter so you can get all of the updates and meal plans and just stay up to date with us. i